Hey folks, Matt from MarryTheImage.com. Just reading a question in here from Ron Ladd from Transcend UAS. Ron says, uh, hey Matt, I love your videos and I'm about six months into real estate videography. Just purchased the 25mm F17 Panasonic Lumix G lens and I was hoping for a wide angle. But when I shoot on video mode, it's cropped in. And when I uh, video on PA and M mode, it's much wider. Why? Uh, can you recommend a Panasonic lens that can, I can get for real estate? I need a wide angle lens and a good low light lens since I'll be shooting inside. I have the G7 body. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks in advance, Ron. Okay, thank you for your question, Ron. Um, it's wider when I shoot video. Uh, what did you say here? When I shoot in video mode, it's cropped in. And when I shoot video on PAM mode, it's much wider. Why? Um, that I'm not sure what's happening there because I really shouldn't be. I mean, when you're shooting video, It'll go to whatever crop the camera shoots video in. Only thing I could think of is maybe one of the auto settings in your PAM mode is changing the video setting. And then when you're in video mode, you can have full control over video and full manual control. And maybe that's what's going on. Um, so I would check into that. Uh, mostly I would just stay in um, in video mode and I, I shoot video mode in manual or I shoot in video mode and set it to whatever I want. I don't ever shoot in PA or M modes um, for video. I put it to video mode. So that's why I don't have an instant answer for you. But my guess is, is that those modes are making some video setting decisions that you may not just not be seeing. And then that's why it's affecting the crop. That's what I would look into. Um, maybe somebody else, what about you guys? Uh, do you have a quick answer for that? Am I right? Is there a different answer that I'm not thinking of at the moment? Maybe somebody else, one of our viewers can answer that one for you and, and either confirm if my suspicion is right or if there's a different answer for you there. Um, as far as wide angle, that's interesting because I think what I would do for real estate photography, real estate videography is use the Panasonic 7 to 14. It gives you, you know, a 14 to 28. So that's about as wide as you're going to get. Um, is it super fast? No. It is, uh, what is that lens? That lens is a f4. If I, uh, yeah, if I'm reading that right. So it's not bad, but it's not super fast. Um, I guess your other option is, is you could use a speed booster on a non Panasonic lens and you could get something much faster and wider. Um, see how that works. Uh, but I would probably myself go with the 714, and I think I would be fine making do with an F4 in most real estate um, lighting requirements. Um, I mean, it's fairly easy to add a little bit of lighting in or existing lighting in the rooms and go with that. Um, and, you know, the G7 shoots comfortably at 1600, so F4 is not a problem for me. Uh, you could be shooting, especially real estate, you could be sh probably shooting in a lower multiple of one thirtieth of a second, maybe come down to one fifteen because you've got a static subject. So I would look at, you know, changing around my shooting parameters that way and, and not worry about as fast a lens. As far as a faster wide angle, I'm not, I'm just kind of blanking on another off, another choice to, to give you there. Uh, so I'll throw it out to you guys. If you're not going to use the 714, is there something else you guys would recommend for real estate photography, uh, videography? For those of you that are doing that or have done it, what would be a fast wide angle that you would recommend to Ron to use for that? Again, I think I would use a 714 and I think I'd be fine doing that at F4, especially with the G7. I'm very familiar with that camera. I shot it for quite a while before I shot, started shooting with this, the G85. Uh, but let us know what you guys would do. Uh, leave your answer in the comments below. Let us know what you would use and why and how it's worked for you. And um, thanks for your question, Ron. Hopefully we'll have some good answers for you from our viewers. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks.